Today we're going to make a tree of life in a four inch hoop. What we're going to do is attach 12 wires. If you haven't seen a previous video, go back and it'll show you from start to finish how to do this. I use a slip knot and I bring this in half, three hoop, bring it into the loop, pull it back, and twist. After you get 12 wires on your hoop, you're going to cut them into six and six, which I've already done to save time. Okay, after you divide them into six and six, hold the base of your work and begin to twist your trunk. Once you get the trunk to the desired length or height, then you're ready to make your tree. I fold it in half, take four from each side, four, and four, twist. You have your, ma your main section. On the right, take four and four, twist. You have your right section. Same on the left, divide them in half, four and four, twist, and then you have your third. Once you do that, you're going to twist them in half again, and your tree will start to take shape. From three, break them in half again, twist two and two. Once you get to two and two, you're ready to go. Let's start beating. Okay. I'm going to try not to make a big crowded mess on this table. Okay. I like to use, <clears throat> excuse me, two wires at the same time. It's not fancy, I just do it that way. First one, I'm going to make a little leaf. So I'm going to take three small crystals that you can get at your craft store. This is how you make a little leaf. Once you get your three little crystals on your branch, take your wire, bring it up. You don't want it too low. There you go. Hold it right there at the top and give it a few little twists. And then twist again. You always twist again. If you wanted to put another leaf, which I do not, you would start with the wire that's the longest, which is this one. I'm not going to do that today. Instead, I'm just going to continue on. I use crystals and I alternate with the bead. On this side, I'm going to use a bead. and a crystal. The way I'm going to do it today, I'm not going to line them up, just beads and crystals. I'm going to put one and one on each side. Support my work. I'll give it a little twist like this. Then I'm going to go to my next. Always twist with the wire that is the longest. For me, it is this one. I have to move this other one. Sorry guys. 
I'm still a work in progress, I promise. I'm getting there. Longest wire. Support your beads and just give it a little twist. Like so. And I'm going to go to my next wire. I'm going to give it a twist or two. Again, I use a bead and a crystal, and on the second wire, oh, you'll alternate. twist. In case you're new to my channel, I'm new to YouTube, so I do make mistakes. But I've learned a lot, guys. And I'm still, I'm still trying. I'm going to try not to bump the camera. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. We're going to just put a little twist in there. And we're going to look at it to the hoop and we'll see where we need to do more work and we do more on that side now before I started I didn't show you how to make sure that you get your tree in the middle of your hoop um, I just take which I did not do the wires on the left because I start on the right fold them under just it helps to keep it in the middle and it keeps the wires out of your way and at the top and that's all that's all I do I have to be mindful where you are. Okay, carrying on. Here I put just two crystals. Get into the top. I want to keep an open, airy look with the beads and the crystals. The way I wrap my wire on my hoop, I take my wire, wrap it around, bring it up, straight up, over, down up and over and give it a little hold your work give it a tug sometimes I wrap it twice not today on this side we're going to do the next wire we're going to do the same way put your wire on your hoop fold it under towards you bring it up in the center hold it up support your work Bring it down, cross it under, up, support your work, a little tug, and over. And we have got one branch done. Next one. Okay, I have to make some adjustments here. This isn't working for me. Sorry, guys. I'm working on this layout. Okay, I'll try that again. Now I'm going to put, probably, I'm going to put two crystals. And 
And then I'm gonna put a crystal in a bead. There we go. You can see my two crystals. I'm gonna support my work right there. However I can, I'm just gonna grab onto it. I'm gonna give it a little twist, and then I'm gonna do it again. When I say a twist, I don't count the little half a twist. Unless the wire crosses, it's not a twist. It's a almost. I'm gonna do another one, like that. I'm gonna support my work right here. See, this isn't a twist, this is almost. Almost twist. Bring it around. Now, that's a twist. I'm going to do it another time or two. And I'm going to put on another bead and a crystal. And support my work. Give it a half a twist and a couple of twists. It reaches, wrap it over, up, down, across, and up again. I'm trying to keep an eye on the video time. Not that I'm in a rush, because I'm not. I have had the situation where it shuts off. And then I don't know how to start it again. I'm working on it. Actually, I'm not doing a good job at that. The whole video and editing, I'm just not. I'm just going to show you what I can do. As effectively as I can. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's one in the morning where I am right now. I get up early. Just string a few extras on there until I figure out exactly what I'm gonna do here. Okay, out of my way. Oops. I support my work. Twist. Take a look at it. I'm going to turn the whole thing because I don't like the way that bead is the placement. It's an odd shaped bead, so I'm just going to move it out of my way. And I'm going to move down to my next set of bead and crystal. Give it a few little twists. On Okay, we've completed one section of four branches. Isn't that pretty? 
I like it. Okay, we're going to move on to the next section. This is where I took eight Y's, eight, four and four. Here we have the two and two, just like we did over here. And I'm going to just give that a little twist. Now we're down to our two and two. I'm going to twist both of these wires, the two and two, so I can finish this section of two branches. When I twist, I put either my finger or the tip of my thumb. I just do it automatic. You'll, you'll figure it out however it works best for you. To keep the tension the same so the twists look nice, you can also tighten your work that way. Okay, next. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to work with these two wires. Start it off with two crystals. Support your work and see automatically that there goes that thumb to push my wire down to twist. Or you can do it this way. I'm going to work that right up until the end. And I'm going to wrap it around the loop, cross it over, bring it under, bring it up, and give it a little tug, hold your work, push it aside. Okay, we're going to do that over and over again. After we get to, after I finish these two, I'm going to twist these two. Two and two. But right now I'm going to pause it to see that it doesn't shut off. 